hello so we are going to start new part that is distributed version control and in this we will see version control system central version control system distributed version control system and their comparison and we will also see git github github desktop git lfs so in version control system is basically known also known as revision control or source control or source code management thereafter there are various responsibility for managing such system and they basically manages computer program documents large websites they also manages some collection of other kind of data and informations then version control systems are also the component of software configuration management for example various versions are there new versions came up for different software so these type of versioning are being controlled in the vcs so it's an independent and standalone application basically means they are the independent framework and they do not have any dependency so they are a standalone application then send there are two type of uh, version control system first is central version control so in this central version control it's a single server that holds all the code base the single server serves the client then client would access the that server and check in and check out means it push the code and pull out the code and this CVA, CVC are also known as central version system, version control system or something like that. And they, uh, the example of these are CVC, subversion and visual source safe. These are the three examples of central ver centralized version control systems what are the advantage advantages it is simple and to manage single server what is disadvantage disadvantage is that it is single point failure if one server fails then whole code repository and the project may be affected then second type of version control system is distributed version control system it is also known as distributed revision control and it is basically used for storage of complete code base and that includes full history of when the code is being pushed and when it is being pulled so this contains complete history and basically it mirrors the develop developers computer so wh whenever developer develop something uh, on its computer and it keeps it in the repository so the repository will be distributed for to the other developer as well so basically it enables some of the features like automatic management of branching and merging so what are the branches new codes are being added what are the older codes so the merging would be done to the older code then it basically this type of feature would actually helps to do better operation and faster management for pushing and pulling some code. It basically improves the ability to work offline. Means you could have offline code and you keep on working on the project. Thereafter later you can push the code on internet to the other developers then it does not rely on single location means if some developers code base has been deleted or corrupted then the code base would be available with the other developer as well so the it, it does not depend on single point failure so there are multiple replications of code available then each client holds a copy of code base so there are various developers so developer would actually has their own code base then 
code has been shared between client by push and pull so push is sending the code to the to others and to the centralized the distributed server or pull means requesting the code from the last commit then uh, what are the advantage there are many operations so you need to learn specifically how distributed version control system works and there's no sing single point of failure so this is these two are advantage then disadvantage it is something complex to manage because there are too many operations too many features and the centralized server has to be that distributed server should has to be so intelligent that it replicates properly and it does not harm the code base so it is complex to manage then these are the comparison so C cvc is basically contains centralized version server so centralized server has different version of the same code which is been checked out or check in by the computer a computer b so check out and check in is the terminology used in the cvc so check in means pushing the code in check out means taking the code file to the local server then second part github has n users and they all have n repositories been repl replicated with each other and synchronized with each other through internet then git is basically one of the kind of distributed version control system which is very famous it basically tracks a source code file during the software development so it coordinate among many programmers or developers working together in a project so goal of all these thing git is to have speed development data integrity means the code should have some integrity then support of distributed system so it is non-linear workflow means anyone can develop anywhere and push the code then it it was been created by linus torvald in 2005 who is the same developer for linux kernel then github directory is one of the developers computer repository so git repository is available with every developer computer so it is independent of network or central server github is basically a company Com and this github provides web hosting functionality for software development they github helps in software development version distributed version control source code management then uh, github features are like bug tracking continuous integration change management github features are like feature request task management wikis <laughs> github features are like branching merging fetching commit some new files push and pull cloning are the of the existing repository are the feature of the github i hope that most of you had used this github bug tracking is basically pushing some bug is there in this type of code continuous integration means many developer can keep on developing different modules all together change management means whatever changes are being done it could be replicated properly then feature request various type of features are there so it could be used then task management 
means whatever be the task of the project they could be listed and wikis are like the various commands and discussion that can, that can go on for that project and branching means new branches are new code branches are added older branches are updated by merging fetching the older code committing the new code and all these things done as the push file then pull file basically or clone file means downloading the repository from the external resources then in 2020 january 2020 github reported 40 million users which is very large amount of users as a developer and they have uh, github has 190 million repositories we, and out of them 28 million plus repository are publicly available the and these all are making large host of source code development in the world so github is one of the largest source code development repository in the world so repository serving host or website what is github desktop it is also a repository as a service client so what it does it basically simplifies development workflow by abstracting github features so whatever be the github features they are being added up as the desktop application just like other desktop application that you run so what are the features it basically helps you do the commit or collaborate with other co-authors so many co-author can use github desktop in their computer laptop or machines and they can push and pull so with the command with the button touch and on the desktop application then it basically check out branches with pull and push and view some co commit status so it's very easy with that just button touch and you can request some of the uh, recent commit code base then there's diff means difference uh, means changes has been uh, highlighted on the on the repository and these are the syntax uh, means plus being added green being added uh, and pink being uh, red being deleted so these are the syntax highlighted diff and it basically highlighting when view when there's various view of diff is needed and they basically expand the image diff what does it mean by image diff so the image has been created whatever be the differencing has been reported means various green red or blue uh, highlighters are there and you can compare the image so that you'll get the amount of change then extensive editor and cell integrator so you can include and add whatever kind of uh, uh, editor that you want and your choose your own favorite editor or shell command prompt then github is an github desktop is an open source community and so you can go and collaborate and contribute the development of this github desktop if you wish then this is the image of github desktop uh, basically you can do fetching from the origin then you can push and pull there and there are various view repository branch so these are the buttons so the changes are being re reflected as green over here modification is blue so you can see there's various kind of uh, push and pull by the various developer 
then git large file system so they basically some of the times in a project there is large audio file large video file large data set large graphics so these are being kept on another server which is something backend and that backend server would actually have git git lfs git large file system so it basically there's large file so that large file is being replaced with some text pointer that points to the links to the git lfs so in the git repository you will have a small file that contains link of the large file which is stored in git lfs so this is how it works like uh, file pds is basically stored in the large file storage git lfs and there's it this file has been replaced with a small text file which contains link to this uh, repository large file storage system then storing the file and content or on the remote server so how you can do uh, storage of file and remote at the remote server so basically you can use github.com github enterprise git lfs for installation git add file for this type of thing git commit you can use for git push you can use for origin master so these are the features and these are the commands you can use for uh, adding a file and committing a file and pushing a file then oh, next we'll see cloud security and privacy 